Hello, and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can identify a resistor. Sometimes, if you're trying to fix something and you find a burned resistor, you need to read the color coding that's on them in order to replace them. I'm going to show you how it's done. Here is a typical one quarter watt resistor. They come in here I've got a one quarter watt resistor. They're small, they're tiny, and what they do is resist the flow of current. But they can only handle so much. And they all come in different shapes and sizes. For example, here is a 25 watt wire wound resistor. And what it means Inside of these, it's a ceramic block, and inside you have a wire that wraps around. It's a resistive wire. These are designed for high current. And I've got this one here. It comes all different shapes and sizes. Got a bigger one here. You got like your metal film resistors, you've got wire wound resistors, you got carbon resistors, all different types of resistors, but they all have the same functions. Some are more high powered than others. Some are for the carbon resistors are mostly used for electronics, especially like the one quarter watts. But what I want to do is show you how to recognize what type size the resistor is. Each resistor, as you see here, has color coatings on them. Four bands on each one. These bands give out a different code. And what it does is tell you the size of the resistor, all the way down to ohms, kilo ohms, and mega ohms. The fourth band here, which you can see the gold, tells you the tolerance. What that is, is a percentage of the accuracy of the code. For like this one here, it's a 220 ohm resistor. The gold indicates the percentage of 220 ohms within that range. Now to identify these, you could use a chart. I'm going to borrow WizKids chart here. This chart tells you what each color stands for. Here, the first one, the colors are lined up. Black is zero, brown is one, and so forth, all the way down to white. Then you got the second one, it's the same thing. When you get to the third band, the third band is a multiplier. The multiplier is a color code as well. But depending on what color that number, that number the color is, will multiply with these two numbers. For example, first color here is yellow, second one is purple or violet, third one is orange, and the last one is gold. So let's take this to the chart and see what the chart tells us. With the chart, let's see, yellow, well, yellow is four, second one is violet, that means it's a seven, so now we have a 47. The third one is orange, so according to the orange, it's 1,000. That's the multiplier. So we take 47 multiplied by 1,000. Well, that means that this resistor is 47,000 ohms or 47K. Now, the fourth band here is gold. So what we need to do is see what gold is. The last one, it was 5%. Now you still do the same thing with this one. You take the 47,000 
multiply it by 5%, and then you add to the 47K, and you also subtract it from 47K, and that will give you the range of this resistor. Now you can also check the size of a resistor by using an ohm meter. Now I'm going to show another way you can test these. We did the bands, I showed you how to identify the colors and the multiplier and its tolerance. Another way you can do this is using a test meter. Now some test meters are different than others. This one the I need to move it to the symbol for ohms, which is the horseshoe. Turn it on, and now I'm ready to measure. Now, the way some of these meters are, you may need to move your uh, one of your probes to an ohm, which you see the little horseshoe, or you need to go through your owner's manual to find out how to test for ohms. So, or you can just read on the meter if it tells you. Well, yeah, some of them do have them on the meters. This one here don't. But I do have the ohm meter here. And most of the, this in here only says TNS. That's for measuring current. So now what you got to do next is just take one of the probes. You can use it on one side of the metal on one pin. Take your other probe, measure it to the other pin, and give it a few seconds. And as you can see right here, it's actually 49.1 kilo ohms. So it's within the tolerance. We measured it 47. Now, when you're measuring these resistors, you need to make sure that you get the tolerance of the resistor correct to match the one that you're having to replace. The tolerance gives an indication on the accuracy of the resistor. Now the resistor I measured said it was uh, 47,000 ohms. Now it's actually measuring 49.1 ohms. The tolerance means since it was a gold that 5% the tolerance would mean it's 5% above what the color coding said, or it's 5% below, somewhere within that range. When you replace resistors, be sure you match the same tolerance on the resistor to ensure that the resistor is going to be a proper replacement. Well, that's all you have to do when you're measuring a resistor and testing them. Hope you this helps you out when you're replacing a resistor. I'm Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.